Welcome to part nine of creating an economy discord bot from scratch with slash commands. In the last video, I went over how to create a leaderboard for your discord server so that you can display the top 10 users with the most coins in your server. And in this video, we're going to create two admin commands that will allow us to add and subtract from any user's balance. And this will only be available to administrators on your server. So that's very important. Only administrators on your server will be able to use this. Of course, you can also make this available to moderators and I'll show you how to do that. You can make this accessible to anybody and I'll show you how to set permissions on each command. To get started, let's go to our code base and let's create a new command. So we could separate the commands. So for example, we're going to make an add and subtract. So we could make an add and subtract separately. But what I think is actually more useful and better to not clutter your commands is I think we should just make a generic admin command. So make admin.js new file in your commands folder. Let's go over, do as we always do, copy the pink command, paste it. There we go, a great start to a new command. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make this the admin command and we're gonna add subcommands to this command. And if you ever wanna add any more admin commands, you can always add to this file and create more and more subcommands. So we're gonna set it up future proof in case you ever have more ideas or you want more admin functionality. So to get started with permissions from discord.js, we actually have to pull in permission flag bits. So it should pop up as a suggestion, but you need permission flag bits, and this will allow us to set who is allowed to use this command. We're also gonna need the profile model, just like all the other videos. So take our profile model, and we're gonna take that from our model folders, models slash profile schema. There we go. Let's do the template. So let's call this admin and then we'll set the description to access to all the admin commands. There we go. And then this is where we actually can set the permissions. So to set permissions, you just need to add a new attribute and say set default member permissions. And then we're gonna pass in permission flag bits. So permission flags bits that we just pulled from discord.js. And then you can add whatever permission you want. And you'll see there are quite a few permissions that you can add. So for this tutorial, we're going to use the administrator permission to be the default member permission for this command. But if you want your mods to have access to this, for example, you could pick any other permission. So for example, if we picked kick members, that would mean anyone who has the permission in your server to kick members, which your moderators probably do, then they'll be allowed to use this command. So that's an example of how you could add other roles. But for this one, we're just going to go with administrator. Next, we're going to start adding our subcommands. So type add subcommand. And I believe this is the first subcommand that we've ever added. So so you guys will see how we can do this. It's actually pretty easy. It's just like adding an option. You just type in subcommand and then do an arrow function. And we can come down here. Let's just separate this out and type subcommand. And then we can set our attributes to it. So we can call set name and we will call this add. So this is going to be our first subcommand. So it's going to be slash admin add. And then we're going to set a description for this subcommand. And we're going to say add coins to a user's balance. There we go. So once you set the description, you can then add a user option. So let's add user option. We can take the option and then just like everything else, we can add attributes to it. So we can set a name for the option and we'll set the name for this option to be user since this is going to be the user who we want to add coins to. We're going to set a description and we're going to say the user you want to add coins to. There we go. And we're also going to set this as required since it wouldn't really make sense if this was not required. Um, we need to know who to send the coins to. And then after this, we can add an integer option. So let's add integer option. And then this is going to be the amount of coins that we want to add to this person's balance. So let's do that option and then set name. This is going to be amount. Let me scroll down for you guys. There we go. We have the name. Now we can set the description to the, the amount of coins to add. There we go. And then we can also set this as required as well. So required to true. 
And then we can also add one more attribute and we can say set min value to one since we don't want any accidental negative numbers being added. Now you could allow negative numbers if you just want the admins to know that's how you subtract. You can add a negative number and that'd be equivalent to subtracting. But to keep it, um, you know, nice, organized and uh, making sense, let's just be super explicit and make a subtract command so that add and subtract are two different commands. So let's copy and paste. So let's just copy this entire sub command. Let's just paste this right here. And all we got to do is edit some information. So let's change the name to subtract. The description we can change to subtract coins and then we'll say from a user's balance. We can then go to the user you want to subtract coins from. This is just, you know, for the UI. Um, and then integer amount, we can say the amount of coins to subtract. There we go. And the min value will be one. All right, guys, now we can actually get to the logic of the command. So we're going to first say await interaction dot defer reply. So we're going to do this up here early just because we're going to have to do a lot of logic for our subcommands. And I don't know how many subcommands you will have, but we'll just add this at the top just to make sure that we let Discord know, yes, we are going to reply to this. Just give us one second. All right. Now we're going to say const admin admin subcommand, and we're going to collect what subcommand was used. So we're going to say interaction.options dot get sub command. All right, that's how you get the sub command. So this sub command, for example, if we used the add command, this would now equal add the word add, it will equal the name of the sub command right here. So that being said, we can then add logic as if admin sub command is equal to add. And then we can add all of our logic for the add sub command. Just like the add, you can also add more logic. So if add sub command is equal to subtract, and then we'll add the logic for that. So just like this format, you guys can actually just keep doing this for however many sub commands you have. You can just collect the sub command that was used and then write the logic in an if statement. So let's first do the add command. So let's first collect the user that was specified. So we're going to say interaction dot options dot get user and then we're going to pass the name of that option and we called it user so right here we called it user so that's the name you have to pass in here then we're going to do the same thing for the amount so we're going to say const amount equals interaction dot options options dot get integer same format and we're going to say get the amount so that's what we titled it so that's what we have to pass in there then all we have to do is say await profile model and then we're going to find one and update update there we go and we're going to pass in user id and the user id we're going to use is user dot id so the user we specified in the command dot id then we are going to increase our balance so inc and then balance and we're going to say by the amount that was specified there we go then after that, all we have to do is reply to the command. So say await interaction dot edit reply. And we're going to say added the amount specified coins to user dot username. So user dot username apostrophe S and then balance. So that'll send out a nice little message saying added blank coins to blanks balance. And that's it. That's how you do the add command. And then we could just do the subtract command real quick. It's going to be very similar logic. So just copy all this code. Let's copy it to the subtract command. And then let's just modify what we need. So we still are going to need to collect user. We're still going to need to collect the amount. We're still going to update the profile model with the user dot ID. The only difference is we're going to make this amount negative. So we're increasing a negative amount. And then we're also going to want to change the message to subtracted blank coins to blanks balance. And that is it. Just those tiny little tweaks. And now we have two admin commands. So let's go to the terminal and start this command up. Let's deploy it. So node deploy commands.js. And then let's start the bot. 
Now let's go to Discord. So here is Discord and let's check our balance. So let's check balance. And our current balance is 10 coins. All right, now we're gonna do admin and here you can see all the admin commands would appear here. It's slash admin add and slash admin subtract. Let's first add, let's say to our own balance, we'll add 20 coins. It says added 20 coins to even more codings balance. All right, perfect. Now let's check our balance. All right, perfect. It says we have 30 coins now, so that means it worked. Now let's try the subtract command. So slash admin subtract and then to do the same thing and let's subtract um, 10 coins. It says subtracted 10 coins. Oop, we forgot to change that to from, but that's just a text error, so that's perfectly fine. We can go ahead and change that. Let's go to it. Subtracted amount coins and we'll just say from balance. Perfect. Start up the bot again. Um, but yeah, that, that's just a small error, but, and then let's check our balance now. So it should be 20. There we go. We have 20 coins. So that's how you make an add and subtract command for your discord bot. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to make a little coin flip game so that each user in your server can do a coin flip and maybe earn some coins if they get it right. If you would like to see that, please watch the next video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below anything you want. If you want to tell me that you like this video, please comment that. I would love to read that. Or if you have a suggestion for another video, definitely tell me your suggestions. I can always learn how to code anything you guys want for a discord command and thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one